We drew it down to 65, no problems. So yeah, I kind of like this thing. All right, we're outside. I just wanted to show you, it's pretty overcast. There are a lot of clouds and there's also some smoke from the wildfires, but the sun's about right there. So it's been about an hour here. Wow, there's just so much dust on the screen already. We are full. We're at 99% and it's doing 70 watts. Um, the sun was still kind of behind a cloud, but yeah, the panels are working great with this. So now let's go inside and start testing the capacity. Now that we've seen that it will charge very well with the solar panel there, let's talk about this for a minute. This has 600 watts of continuous power. It could do 1200 watt peak because it has the their VBON technology. I, I would just assume that you're gonna get about 600 watts of output out of this. You're not gonna wanna run much more than that anyway because this is only a 499 watt hour uh, lithium iron phosphate in here. If you're pulling something that heavy, it's gonna last you, you know, like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Uh, you can expand this up to 2047 watt hours though using uh, extra batteries. Use this little battery port here. You have two AC outputs that'll do up to 600 watts combined. You have a 100 watt USB-C. You have two USB-A's that are quick charge 3.0, so they'll do like 18 watts. You have your DC uh, 5521, you have your, you know, cigarette plug, car plug thing. And then you have like that link port, like I said. 70 minutes to charge this from a wall outlet. Via car, you can do it in about three and a half hours. It's gonna depend on the output of your 12 volt on your car. And then for solar, two to four hours with a 200 watt panel. 200 watts is the maximum input. Same thing for the DC input. And then, you know, 400 watts for the AC input. The thing I like the most about these Vitamin is they do have this uh, compartment here. You can usually keep the wall cable and the 12 volt adapter in there on these smaller ones. Fits fine. The bigger ones, you can fit like another cable in there usually, but works pretty good. Sometimes it doesn't want to go down, so you gotta like fidget with it a little. Uh, if you just had one cable in there, if you knew you just wanted to keep the AC or you just want to keep the 12 volt, then it's not a problem at all. You can stack a couple of these because you get the nice flat surface. This does have a pure sine wave inverter in it. It will operate in a UPS mode. It has like a 20 millisecond switch over. I never mess with these with UPS because I just use dedicated UPS, but that is an option if you would like to do that. So this is the Flash Speed 600. Now let's find some stuff to plug in. Say I took this camping. This is great at your campsite. You can have that solar panel going. It's keeping it charged, but what if I'm hiking and I've had, you know, my USB thing here. Let me actually slide this back a little. So we have room to set stuff down. And say this is running low. I want to top it off while we sleep. Go ahead and, oh, that's nice. It automatically turns on. Um, I will say one thing. When I charged this to full yesterday, I forgot to turn it off. So the inverter running did draw down about 4%. When you plug it in, the screen turns on for an input. You'll still need to press DC, USB, or AC. So there we go. We're charging. We're pulling 16 watts, which is probably about as fast as that can charge. Great. So that's going to last 20.4 hours. Now I can top this up on camp. Say I am going to film something in the field. I have my nice light here, as you can see. It actually uses quite a bit of power. It does have a power brick. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in here. As to not blind you, I'm going to reorient the light. So now I've got this going and we can go ahead and turn that on. And there we go. Now we're drawing about 38 watts. We can go ahead and turn the light up. It's at 20% now. Take it to 100% and move it away from the thing so you can see it. Now we're drawing 126 watts. So we'll go ahead and turn that back down. We see it coming down. But as you can see, like at full intensity with that battery bank charging, I could run this light in the field theoretically for 3.7 hours. I'm probably not gonna need that much light though at 50%. Now I've bought myself 5.7 hours. Inside, I usually run this light at about 20%. That's gonna give me 7.8 hours, 8.1 hours. So a full day of work, sorry. It got really sandy out there when we were doing the solar. You kind of get the idea. So we're pulling 38, 40 watts. Let's see what happens when we unplug the USB. What's it drop to? 22, so yeah, not too bad. Purely for science, we're going to run it, the microwave on it. This sh should, in theory, trip. I wanna see how it handles it, because this is gonna draw more than it can handle. So we're pulling 440, 470. This may actually be a pretty low watt. Nope, there we go, we're way past. So 
So it's actually just underpowering the microwave. So I'm gonna stop that. It did not trip, it just only will output a certain amount. Interesting, let's try it on something else. Now I'm gonna try it on my wife's hair dryer. I hate these things, they're so loud and annoying. So I believe this is just the air mode. That's doing 100 watts. Now I turn it up to the next highest setting. It's doing 150, 860 watts. And I believe this will turn on the heat. 700, 800, 800. So instead of tripping, it'll peak and then it drops it back down. Instead of shutting it off, which I would prefer, it's gonna let the power keep drawing and it's actually gonna under deliver to the device. Something like this, probably not that big of a deal, but if you're plugging something in that's using electronic circuitry, like something a little bit smarter than this hairdryer, that might be a problem. So definitely make sure you're staying within the range of what this can output. Um, some of these will actually trip a breaker and then you have to like hit the reset button on the back or whatever. This one's not doing that, so keep that in mind. You can plug in something into it that it probably doesn't want to deliver power to. At that setting with the heat on, it's actually within spec, but if I bump it up to the next heat setting or the next speed, it'll exceed and then it just drops back down. So I'm gonna let this run for a little bit just to draw the battery down and see how it handles. I'm just gonna stand here and hold this. I won't subject you to all that noise though, so we'll be back. So far it is running very well. I've drawn down to 75. I'm gonna let this keep going. The hair dryer feels cool to the touch, so I'm not too worried about it. And we'll just kind of uh, let this draw down a bunch more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. The fan did engage pretty quick on. We drew it down to 65, no problems. So yeah, I kind of like this thing. It is definitely the smallest Vito Man that I have, but I've been very happy with the two larger ones I have, and I'm sure there's lots of applications to this. This would be pretty good to take with us in the car um, if we're gonna be on the road for a long time and you know one of us wants to work on one of our laptops or something while the other drives, because then we can just top it off. We should be able to charge one of our laptops, I don't know, like twice, three times, something like that. Uh, my MacBook would probably run on this for quite a long time. It does have uh, a BMS on it as well. That's pretty much it. This has been the Flashspeed 600 unit by Vitaman. I will have a link in the sticky comment in the description. I will say I was really happy with those solar panels and I'm actually gonna set this back outside to go ahead and charge up a solar because, hey, why not? Now I like these Vitaman. They're my favorite in the build quality because they have the handles. All three of them have these handles. All three of them have the storage and they're nice and flat on top so you could actually stack a few if you wanted. And I really, really do appreciate that. Uh, it is very nice and handy. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.